Hello everybody, the whole tech team coming at you today with a video all about grid view in Google Meet and also this really cool add-on called Google Meet Nod. So here we are, you've got the entire tech team as well as our ceilings uh, in this video and I want to show you the Meet button which is kind of like this tic-tac-toe looking board over here. Now if you notice it has a line through it right now because I'm in the normal Google Meet kind of set up. So whoever happens to be active and talking is going to be at the forefront of the picture here. However, if I want to be able to switch it so I can see everybody, all I have to do is click on that grid and it will immediately split everybody up and we'll be able to see everyone in the chat, which is super, super helpful. So a great way once you start getting more than five people or if you want to be able to see everybody as you're talking, a great feature. Then if you notice up in the top left, this is that Google Nod, Nod add-on I talked about earlier. And basically it's a way for people who are muted and also people who are not muted to be able to give you some type of feedback when you're talking. So maybe if you want to take a quick poll of the classroom to try to make sure that people understand what you're talking about or if you want people to react to something, they can click on one of these buttons and it'll pop up right there. So for example, if I'm reading something and maybe Miguel's a little bit confused, he can actually raise his hand to indicate that he has a question. So if you'd be quite so kind, you'll notice that Miguel right here has raised his hand. And what's neat about this is Miguel has the power to dismiss that notification and so do I while, while I answer his question. So if there is a question and Miguel has it, I can, I can answer him, he's right there. And then once I'm done, I can click on the little X. So it's a great way, especially if the entire class is muted, for me to see who needs assistance, unmute them as such, address their issue, and dismiss that notification and move on to the next person. So it's kind of like a little bit of order in chaos. And if you need help getting either of these two things installed, the grid should already be installed for you. But if you need any assistance, just send an email out to tech at sdh.org and we'll get you all set up.